What the? I'm gonna kill him. I'm going to kill him. I swear one day I'm gonna get him. One day I'm gonna get him. But boys, welcome to the new episode of the Liverpool Career Mode Season 2. Or should I say, the first proper season of FIFA 20 has begun. You guys have come in with massive amounts of support on the last video. Thank you so much for coming in with the love, people. It genuinely means the world. And it seems like everyone is just as hyped as I am due to the new channel changes with the realism mod involved into the Liverpool career mode from this point on. I'm excited and I hope you guys are as well. If you are, please make sure to hit that like button. It's this thing that looks like a thumbs up, you know, this one. Go ahead and hit it. That'd be much appreciated. Let's get this video to 3000 likes for the new season because in today's episode, we have 250 million to spend and you guys have made a decision and today I will be revealing the new fan objectives so look out for that as well. Also for all those people that play division rivals or foot champions or whatever as my phone goes off please let me know in the comments down below if you guys have packed anything sick today if you are enjoying ultimate team please make sure to follow my second channel it is ultimate team based link in the description down below but now it is time for the decision of the last episode you guys have come in you wanted it to happen 80 percent at least want it Bruno Fernandes to join into the Liverpool squad and I think this is the perfect transfer for our team. Bruno Fernandes, we want you to be a part of this squad. 87 rated, 25 years old at the height of his career and it is time to finally move away from Sporting to Liverpool. I am actually surprised that Bruno Fernandes' value is at 54 million at the moment. I mean, that's a high value, but you would expect it to be a little bit higher for a player of his range. So because of that, we're not going to be um, paying the release clause in this case. We're going to be jumping right in and asking for a lower amount to buy this guy into our team. So we're going to be offering a transfer fee. I'm going to be putting up 65 mil and see what they say with a sell-on clause of 10%. Hopefully they will come back with a counter offer and not just run away. Okay, there you go. That's their counter offer. That's a bit much. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> that is a bit much, isn't it? Uh, his value is at 54 mil. They're negotiating like myself. This is what I do. I go up and um, counter offer like that. All right, 75 mil for Bruno Fernandes. Come on now. They... Oh, wow, they're really adamant about the 93.5 along with a sell-on clause of 5%. These guys are mental. Bro, 80. Come on now. Come on now. Let's make it happen. 80 mil for Bruno Fernandes. I have the green in the background as well because of sporting, because we are getting Bruno Fernandes. But they just won't negotiate. This is ridiculous. I actually have to pay the release clause of... 91 mil or something i'm gonna offer 85 they're gonna say no and just walk away but hey i guess that's okay here we go last offer oh they have accepted bruno fernandez his team has accepted 85 million i think in today's market 85 mil for someone like a bruno fernandez who clearly is an outstanding football player especially these last two seasons this is okay. I guess this is okay. Joao Felix went for like 120, 100 and something. Uh, 140, I believe. Um, but Bruno Fernandes right here coming in for 85 mil. Okay. Look at that. The poor guy is on 14.5k in his wages. That is ridiculous. For a player who is... 87 rated that is just unbelievable i mean it's just a disgrace uh we're gonna accept no release clause crucial first team player four-year contract that is what we want people we're gonna be offering him a decent amount of wages i feel like it would just be a disgrace if he doesn't get a proper amount i'm gonna give him 60k he's only earning 14.5 at the moment and there we go, 60k has been accepted. And that is the new transfer, Bruno 
Fernandez, who's gonna take over that number 10 position, and he is going to be incredible. You love to see it. Straight away, he is going to be replacing Vinaldum in this team in the starting lineup. Vinaldum obviously will become a great substitute now for our midfield. He will always come in for the likes of Fabinho and Alan. The same goes for Nabi Keita. These two players are going to be dominating those types of positions. So hopefully um, we will enjoy ourselves in that sense. But Karius, why are you back? I don't want you. Karius, can you go back to Besiktas, please? I'm definitely going to be selling him. Don't you worry about that. That guy is 100% leaving our team. Yeah, Vinaldum goes onto the bench and Bruno Fernandes joins in into that number 10 role. And most importantly, Firmino in this formation will be playing as a striker rather than a false nine, which hopefully will lead to him scoring even more goals. But Bruno Fernandes is the new number 10 in this squad. Let's take a look at his stats. Four star, four star, high, high work rate. He comes in with 84 attack position. 87 composure 88 vision what you need in that camp position you have good balance and agility you have 93 stamina which is great you come in with 86 curve with um 79 finishing 90 long shots 90 shot power Ooh, that's gonna be nasty when this guy plays for us i am expecting fireworks on the pitch and he has all the traits that you want to have leadership flair outside of the foot shot i'm looking forward to it maybe we can pull off some karejmas with this guy that would be great cutting him from the right maybe with the outside of the foot bending it in that would be a dream come true but bruno fernandez as i said before he will become the number 10 of the team and if you guys are realizing i actually have changed a lot of the numbers to the real life numbers of the players longley has number 15 at barcelona i checked it online he now has it has number 15 in our team and um, we have new players with the likes of where is he alan who is sadly going to remain on 23 because vinaldum has number five and he can't just take away an original liverpool player's number but Danny Olmo has number 7 at Zagreb. Um, Soboslai has number 14 at, um, what is it, Salzburg. Uh, Bruno Fernandes now coming in and he will become the new number 10 of Liverpool. And Nabri, 22. And also, by the way, Dembele, 11. Would you get transfer offers as well? I keep accepting. They keep breaking down, but I'm going to accept one more time. And then we do have an offer for Avonii. It is a 12.6 million offer from Ajax. They seem to be thinking that this guy is a huge talent. Hey, that's totally fine with me. But as we have brought in Bruno Fernandes into the team, I think it is time to reveal the new fan objectives of the season, which are suggested by you guys mostly, as you can see the comments attached to them on your screen when I talk about them, because my editor is sick like that, and he's gonna put them in at the perfect time. And corner taken quickly. It is gonna be get 10 assists with Trent Alexander-Arnold this season. That is going to be one of our goals in this season. And of course, that special moment that Trent had in the Champions League alongside Origi. That is why we named it that way. The next Bale is going to be score five goals with Harry Wilson from outside the box. That is going to be one of the toughest objectives this season. I 100% know that I'm going to be struggling to get this done, but hopefully we can get it done. Harry Wilson has a great shot on him. And is he actually still young enough to play in the under 23s? Because there is a new objective with the under 23s. Harry Wilson is 23. Perfect. Clean sheet king. Now, okay, <laughs> let's not even talk about this. I am clearly not the clean sheet king, but <laughs> I have to try and get the most clean sheets in this Premier League season. I can't even believe I'm saying that. It just sounds so silly because you guys know I can't do it, but I'm going to try and do it. And it's going to be something with a terrible forfeit attached to it at the end, which I will have to do. I already know it. True number 10. As you can see, I was already planning Bruno Fernandes to be involved. He is the true number 10 of Liverpool. And because of that, he has to get the most scorer points in the Champions League season this year. I wanted to make it specific for the Champions League because that is the tournament that is going to be the most important one for us. Bruno Fernandes, most scorer points in the Champions League. That's the target that he has to achieve. Under 23 madness because you guys loved the under 23s last season and I personally loved it as well. We're going to take it to another level this year.
video, every single Carabao Cup or FA Cup game has to be played with the under 23s, which means at the end of that, we also have to win at least one of those tournaments. And if we don't, we'll have to do a forfeit, but the under 23s have complete control over two trophies this season, the super subs. You guys know I love my super subs and we are going in with an objective that I wrote in myself because I love super subs and I have to score 20 goals with super subs throughout the entire season. That is going to be something that I will have to keep track myself manually as well. I'm looking forward to this. Let me know in the comments down below hashtag and then the name of the forfeit that you can see on your screen and then go ahead and let me know what the forfeit should be for these objectives i genuinely believe these objectives are amazing and i'm really thankful for all of you guys who have suggested them and yeah I'm excited, new season starts now. This right here, my friends, is gonna be the under 23s and beautifully, it is actually Usman Dembele on the bench as well since he is still 23 years old, so he's still eligible for this squad to be played. But most of the time, he's only gonna be coming in as a super sub because I wanna give time to the likes of Wilson, Barnes, Haaland, Brewster, Olmo, Sangare, Van den Berg, Gomez, Malasia, and Hoover. The defense is a big issue, but I do believe we do need a much better reserves team goalkeeper so now let's focus up and try and get ourselves a youngster for the goalkeeping position for the under 23s of Liverpool. Curtis Jones has been sold. He is gone. A loan offer for Sangare. That's not going to happen. But we get a transfer offer for Genie Vinaldum, who now has become a bench player. He's 29 years old and they're coming in with a big offer. And you guys do remember. We do have a deal that, uh, I don't know, Jordan Henderson's deal has broken down, as you guys can see. He has not actually moved to Schalke, so he's still in the squad. Hopefully, we can um, get rid of him at some point. But right now, Wijnaldum, 29 mil. I'm going to negotiate. If I can get way more than 29 mil, I'm going to sell him. But if I can't, I'm going to keep him in the squad because he's a great squad player. So I'm going to be asking for 45 mil. Actually, you know what? We're going to be asking for 50 mil because that is that is the amount that I want for Genie Vinaldum. If you can pay it, that's fine. If you can't, all right. There you go, Valencia. Peace out. Don't even exaggerate. Just walk out. In terms of goalkeeper, there is one player that I've been watching this year that I hope would fit into our age group. And yes, it does. Dean Henderson. Oh, no. He's a Manchester United player, isn't he? He's playing for Sheffield United in real life. Uh, for the first season, he's out on loan, but sadly, we can't get him. I was thinking of bringing in an English goalkeeper, so this would have been perfect, but sadly, it just looks like he's not going to be eligible for our squad since he plays for Manchester United. I've been wanting to bring this guy into my team for a long time in a lot of my career modes, and I've never really managed to do so, I believe. Andre Lunin, 6 foot 3, 21 year old goalkeeper. First season was out on loan from, from Real Madrid to, I believe, Real Sociedad if I'm not mistaken but um, we are now going in for this man who is an exciting prospect so straight away we know that this guy could be special for the under 23s we're going to jump into the negotiations and hopefully get ourselves an amazing amazing player into the squad that is the plan for us at the moment let's jump in with Zidane negotiating I have no idea what this guy's rating should be I have a lot of money I'm just going to offer 20 mil and see what he says I'm going to add a sell-on clause of 10% as well Lunin do you want to join us Oh, okay, perfect. They're coming back with a counter offer. 24 mil is what he's asking for. That shows me that this guy is actually quite high rated. Let's go with 22.5, all right? Come on. Come on, Zidane. Let's make this deal work. 23.8 with a 15% selling clause. You know what? I'm okay with that. Andri Lunin, let's get you into this team. Squad role prospect, that is totally fine with me if he's accepting a role like that or within my team. Five year contract since he's a very young player. Oh, he wants a three year contract. What are you? Four years, buddy. Come on. There we go. That's more like it. Lunin has accepted. Um, we're going to accept no release clause. That is exactly what we want. And then he's asking for wages, which is perfect because I'm just going to accept it and move forward. Let's 
go! New talent joins into the under-23s. He's going to be playing every single game in the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup. So hopefully he does have a good rating. Let's jump right in there. 79 rated. That is not bad at all, you know. That is a massive upgrade to Grabara, who is a big talent. Don't get me wrong. But Lunin is now joining in into the squad. Let's take a look at that. 79 rated. Love that. Absolutely love that. 76 diving, 74 handling, 81 kicking, which is impressive. 81 reflexes. Speed isn't the highest, but positioning seems okay. This is definitely a big upgrade for the under 23s. We get two offers for our youngsters, Ejaria, 22 years old. We get an offer for him. He does seem like a decent talent to have. And you know what? I don't have that many substitutes for the midfield position in the under 23s. I think Ejaria, we will keep people. I think we'll keep him around. I, I always thought that he was a very talented player. And we're going to accept yet another offer for Phillips, waiting for him to finally sell. Of course, another transfer talk has broken down. They're coming in. Barcelona want Fabinho for 98.9. As much as I am open to offers, this one is not negotiable. I am not letting go of Fabinho because he is basically irre irreplaceable. Ejaria. He is sticking around, blocking the offers for him. There is nothing that can work out for the Ejaria deal. But we now jump in into the first match of this Premier League season. And once again, keep in mind this new mod that we are using in this career mode is going to make the league table realistic the big teams are going to be winning games it's going to be the most competitive season that we've had so far and i'm really looking forward to it avonui has been sold 10 million back into the transfer budget and we do get our first for karius and kelleha again kelleha accepted will break down who cares but karius i knew it i knew it Back when he did it for Real Madrid, when he made those mistakes for Real Madrid to win the title, he knew in his head, at some point, they would repay him by buying him. He was a cheater. He was an absolute cheater. All right, I don't want you in my team. Get out. He's moving to Real Madrid. We know why he made those mistakes back in the day. Now it all makes sense. Here it is, first game of the season. Bruno Fernandes now in his number 10 role. Usman Dembele down the right hand side. First game he played, he already showed his qualities for our team. Serge Gnabry, Usman Dembele, Firmino, Bruno Fernandes. That is an incredible front four. Fabinho and also in the midfield with Alan. They will have to deal with the defensive duties while the rest of the team attacks. Felipe Anderson and Hala are definitely looking forward into a very very good game this is gonna be an interesting opening to the season Firmino I'm seeing that run off Serge Gnabry he gets in behind Serge Gnabry oh that's bad control isn't it we're gonna bring it to Alan Firmino Bobby Firmino immediately beginning the new season with what he did last season he was the top scorer he needs to defend this title it's a cross it's a header and it's a long long shot, I wanted to say. It's a long pass, I guess, up against Longley. We have to outpace him because in terms of strength, we're not going to be able to deal with that guy. Longley, of course, making his debut as well in the squad, which I'm very, very happy about. Can't wait to see what he can do for our team. Fabinho, Dembele, can he get behind? No. Firmino, there's too many players surrounding me, man. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno, the new number 10. Yes, this is what we wanted, people. Bruno Fernandes is scoring and he is doing one-handed push-ups. He is doing one-handed push-ups. You can tell he's a scrawny, skinny little guy, but he still has the strength and the power to pull them off. I can't even do them, I think. But here we go. Bruno on his debut in the Premier League season. Welcome to the club. What a finish. What a shot. What a debut. Oh, by the way, did I say this? I don't know if I already said this, but Freaked has said that this in Turkish episode 20 means Yirmi Iki. Episode 22, sorry. Yirmi Iki. That is Turkish for 22. I don't know why the first time when I said it, I said it in a really weird way as if I don't actually speak Turkish. Okay, I don't know how he just made his way through, but that would have been a quite impressive goal for Mikel Antonio. Here we go, though, with Serge. 
Sergi's through. He's through. They can't catch up to him. Or can they? No, they can't. It's going to be Serge into Alan. Good defending. Bruno Fernandes, great turns and twists. Dembele trying to get involved. Dembele. Dembele, well done. Good pass. Serge Gnabry. Serge Gnabry and Dembele, the new partnership in our wings. Let's go. This is what I want to see. I want to see the new transfers working out perfectly fine. And it has worked out. Dembele to Gnabry. 2 0. Liverpool. What? Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. No. Stop. Did I just see right? Please watch Nabri's leg. Please watch Nabri's leg. Take a look at this. So Nabri. Nabri, you okay? Hey. I'm having an allergic reaction to what you're doing there. What is this? What is actually happening here? How is this even possible? He looks like a spider. Look at that. And then, oh, it twists. Dude, it twists around once. Just the thought of that. Ugh. That, ye, okay, I'm sorry for showing that. That, oh, okay. Nobody does things that are unexplainable as the camera turns off. Cool. Robo, Firmino, Firmino gets taken out. Not what you want to see. It's a good pass down the left. Felipe Anderson. Felipe, it's gonna be Antonio. And the clean sheet is gone. Get the most clean sheets in the Premier League. Yeah, sure, sure. I'm gonna get it for sure. Mikel Antonio, it's 2-1. West Ham right before half-time score. Which means they are not giving up on this game yet. Beautiful play. Can't really say anything against it. Okay, Bruno Fernandes is just gonna run through, I'm guessing, and get us a pen. Bruno Fernandes just got us a pen. What is happening? After kickoff, no one attacked him. And I thought the time was already through, but the referee has decided to give us a pen. And who better to take it? Do I have any objectives that I need to fulfill? Uh, nothing in the Premier League, really, so I can go with whoever I want to. And since Bruno Fernandes is on his debut, might as well give it to him, right, lads? I want to do this better than I normally do. Why is this so tough to put this into the corner? There we go. Yellow, but it still goes in. Bruno Fernandes with his first brace for Liverpool. And he is going to do the one-handed push-up once again. It's his signature move already. The man is just too good. Dembele over to Trent. He's looking for them assists. I just wish that... I was about to say, I just wish that crosses were better. But it is a foul from Cresswell, which we will take on immediately. And we will cross it in with Trent Alexander-Arnold, hoping for something special to happen right here. Actually, I might just switch to Alan here and then run up and bang it in. Oh, what? What happened? Bruno Fernandes on the finish. It's a save. I don't know what just happened there. 78th minute. Let's start off with the super subs. Dembele is tired. Harry Wilson will be coming in. Danny Olmo coming in for Bruno Fernandes. And we will bring on one more attacking player. And that's going to be Divock Origi. I need these substitutes to score. So hopefully they will be able to pull it off for me. Olmo, great pass straight away. Firmino might be in behind. Firmino. Firmino. Pass it. What are you waiting for? Olmo, what is that pass? What just happened? Firmino, did you lose all of your abilities? It's going to be the referee blowing the whistle, hopefully, anytime soon. He doesn't, but he does do it now. Liverpool have won the opening game of the Premier League season with Bruno Fernandes with an incredible performance in that number 10 role. We have done really well to begin the season with. But as you can see, we start off as we left it off with absolutely no clean sheets. After the game, we're obviously gonna be praising the new man of this team. We found our talisman, that's what we're gonna say. And we're gonna say that uh, I don't wanna put unnecessary pressure on Longley, he should be okay. And Vinaldum, I'm sorry, bro. Ooh, ooh, 
Why didn't Wijnaldum play? I can just say, why ask me this? No, no, let's not say that. Competition is good. That's just how it is. We do have a lot of competition in the team right now, and Wijnaldum is suffering under that. He just has to perform. And again, offers for the same players over and over again. And I'm accepting it again. Karius, you can even move to Everton. Go there. It's only our rivals, but I would wish for you to sign with Everton because if you do, I'm going to smash eight goals past you. And again, Philips transfer talks have broken down. Hey, you'll love to see it. Woohoo! Yay! Hopefully that's going to be a thing that I can mention to Fiverr to fix because this is very annoying and I keep getting offers for players that just won't leave the freaking team so again right at the end of this episode i just wanted to go through the teams and show you guys what we have available and how much money we have available to even improve upon these teams so right now this is our starting lineup for the under 23s as you can tell everyone below the age of 23 or just on 23 just on the dot basically now here's the question do you guys want me to improve this team and if you want me to improve it it would probably be the center back position which i don't really want to do i love Vandenberg, i love woover and i actually like malasia as well so i don't know if i want to improve anything in this team maybe we bring in a backup striker for the under 23s because we do have Haaland and Brewster two strikers up top but we don't actually have strikers as substitutes yes we can bring on Almada that is an option but I prefer to play Almada down the wings he has incredible pace so I really want to bring him in as a um, center attacking mid or a right wing that is what I want to do with Almada mostly so maybe we do bring in a backup striker to play in behind Haaland and Brewster or maybe even ahead of Haaland and Brewster and one of these goes down to the bench that is going to be your guys decision let me know in the comments down below now in the first team as we jump into this you can clearly tell that this is a ridiculous team at this stage we have Nabri, we have Firmino we have Dembele, Fernandez, Alan, Fabinho, Alexander Arnold, Van Dijk, Longley, Robertson there's nothing to change about the starting lineup in my opinion now if we go down to the bench if you want some improvements, there is room for improvements. I mean, Divock Origi is a cult hero, so we can't get rid of him. Um, Harry Wilson is someone that we need in the squad anyways. But of course, there is a spot that can easily be taken over from Karius right here. So if you guys want me to bring in anyone for the uh, first team's bench, there is a possibility to do that. Or if you want me to just put in someone like Haaland onto the bench right here, I can do that as well. But that is the under 23 and the first team showcased and you guys will be able to see right here that we do have 176 million still in the transfer budget and I just realized you know what why not just hire a bunch of scouts let's just do that we're gonna sign Elias Leo right there and we're also gonna be signing another one in Hugh Harris that is what we're going to do. All of them four star, four star. And you guys can let me know. Where do I send these scouts to? Two from England, one from Finland. Where do we send them to? Let me know what I should be looking after. Maybe we can bring in some really good players from the under 23s as well in this season. A good possibility to go ahead and change things up. Let me know, guys. It is going to be a very interesting season because let's go into the league table and see how things have gone. Surprise, surprise, the big teams are actually winning games. Everton, Arsenal, I mean, big team. <laughs> Everton, Arsenal, Manchester City, Spurs, all of these teams have won their first games. As you can tell, the bigger squads now are automatically doing better. And that is what we like to see. If we go up the list right here and we take a look at the results, Chelsea getting a draw away from home, realistic. Manchester City away from home, beating Manchester United. That is realistic as well at this stage. Um, Everton winning 2-0 against Bournemouth yes hell yeah very much a possibility Newcastle winning at home against Stoke that is a good possibility Leicester 3-2 away from home against Nottingham Forest yes that is realistic Arsenal against Wolves I mean that's not bad Tottenham away from home are winning as well this is what we want to see career mode has been fixed thanks to Fiverr and yeah we're going to enjoy this season a lot. Next episode, we're kicking it off with Atalanta. And that is something I'm looking forward to. Another trophy that we could possibly grab ourselves with the team. And Bruno Fernandes, what a debut. Incredible player. Loving him already. I'm looking forward to see what he can pull off for us this season. But 
Thank you guys so much for watching for episode two of season two with Liverpool. Some good signings, some good players have joined in. And yeah, exciting times. See you next time. Take care. Peace.